Today I will be continuing my product testing with the Hippie Crafter acrylic pouring paint set. Uh, I was very pleased with the results of the last video. Uh, I will show the dried results for the first two tests uh, at the end of this video. And um, that was a traveling or a wandering ring pour and a flip cup with no silicone. Today I want to try a flip cup with silicone and a straight pour. Um, I haven't really tested these paints as far as which paints are glossy and which are matte. Uh, but I'm going to try the straight pour anyway, just see what happens. So that's what's happening. The colors I will be using for this particular painting, I have metallic sapphire blue, viridian, and metallic silver. This will be the straight pour and we'll see what happens. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards, and each technique card has an associated video here on YouTube. There is a picture of that particular technique. There is a box here that has a tip for that technique. There is a color palette associated with it. And these two boxes can be used as the basis of a two color palette or to build off of and do a brand new color palette. There are also eight bonus color palette cards. Each one has five color palettes. Use some of the colors, use all of the colors, mix and match the color palettes with the techniques and you have hundreds of thousands of combinations Plenty of inspiration. These are available at my website, ginadeluca.net. These colors are very, very vibrant. They dry vibrant. They don't, they did not make mud. I, I mixed yellow and blue and well, a magenta-ish color. I think it was called rose. And I did not get mud. Not in my drips, not in smearing the palette knife, not when I was wiping my hands with a paper towel, even though I had three primary colors going, I got no mud. I was very impressed with how these paints uh, maintained their colors. I will be interested to see how they do on a straight pour, if they do anything. So I'm actually gonna start with the Viridian. And then I will do the blue. I'm going to pour from up high and see if I can get it to sink a little. And then the silver. Okay. Alright, so far the colors look beautiful in the cup. Let's see what happens. Just tap these corners a bit.
give this a quick hit with the torch. Pop the bubbles that I see. Alrighty. These paints are on the thin side, so they do move rather quickly. don't know that I got enough blended in there to make cells happen, but I guess we're going to find out. I hate to lose all that beautiful metallic there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the center is very abrupt to me. So I'm going to try to stretch that out and make it a little softer. So I'm going to catch that corner. Catch it and stretch it. I think I'm gonna try to tilt this down this way. I'm trying to get this so you can see it. I really need to get a better thing to hold my camera. It is very difficult to keep an eye on your painting and on what is happening on the camera. So usually, in straight pours, the more you tilt, the more you stretch, the more cells you're likely to get, and that doesn't seem to be happening. But, that does kind of look like a ripple in a pond, doesn't it? Come on, just a little bit more, just a hair. Give me just a tiny bit. Okay. I'm gonna let this sit. And we will do the, uh, the flip cup with silica. Okay, so for my flip cup, I'm going to use metallic rose, metallic gold, metallic white, and the rest of the Viridian that I have here. And I'm going to add my silicone. I'm using the PBO uh, silicone oil just straight to the bottle because I don't want to dirty another cup, you know. So I'll add it straight to that and I'm just going to add two drops. That's it. Two drops. Probably could have gotten away with just one. I'm going to take my little skewer and I'm just going to give it a little 
little bit. A little bit. My handy skewer. Okay, I'm going to start with the metallic white. Just put a bit of that in there. Uh, actually, we'll do the gold next. And the rose. The Viridian. The rose and the gold are making such a beautiful color. I really like that. Actually, I'm going to just let this come out as much as it can. That is a full cup. The paint that has the silicone, you can see it on the top here. That is not necessarily what you want. Because if the silicone hits your canvas first, then the canvas will reject the paint. That is why I usually lay down a base coat. But we don't have a base coat, and so I'm going to just make a fake one. That metallic white is beautiful. Okay, here's the tricky part. Uh, gotta do it quickly. Okay. <laughs> That's already so pretty. I love these paints, the way they react to each other. Oh, I forgot to make my little X in my cup. Oh well. Let's see what happens. I mean, I am using colors that could most definitely lead to a very muddy situation. Red and green, as you know, can make brown. And these colors are still maintaining their integrity. Pop the bubbles. It still surprises me how quickly this paint moves. I'm not, I'm not used to uh, this kind of viscosity. It startles me. give this a little bit of a stretch here and see if that does anything.
right, well, I'm going to clean up and I'll bring you in for a close up and I will show you the dried pieces from last week. So don't go anywhere. Okay, here are the pieces from the last video, which was the uh, product testing for the Hippie Crafter acrylic pouring paint set. Here is the, you can see it's got a very nice sheen to it. Nice gloss going on. The colors are still very, very vibrant. The edges held up very nicely. Very vibrant indeed. And then here is the flip cup with no silicone. Very soft, lacy, kind of chiffon, I should say. Not lacy. More of a chiffon effect. But here's what's really cool. Look at these drips. Show me mud. Where is mud? These are three primary colors mixed together. And even when I was scraping it off of my palette knife, still no mud. No mud. Those are the palette knife swipes. You can see. These are the most impressive drips that I have ever gotten. <laughs> I mean, usually there's there's some kind of m muddy action, but there is not. So there it is, the Hippie Crafter acrylic pouring paint set. Okay, here they are. Um, very interesting results. I think I'm gonna paint a frog on this or a lotus or something. This just looks like water rippling in a pond to me. It is very difficult for you to see the shimmer on this, unfortunately. Let's see if I can... It's just not really showing up in the camera. As shimmery as it is in person. But there that is. And then here is the flip cup with silicone. Perhaps I needed more silicone or that needed to be mixed in better. But no mud. Very interesting to me. And so let me see, let me show you this. I kind of stuck my finger in this and smeared it around to see if I could make mud. It didn't make mud. I am mixing red and green and it is still maintaining like its, its color properties. That is tripping me out. How is that possible? I do not understand how that's possible. But I am impressed nonetheless. So, if you have problems with mud, uh, I think that this is a foolproof set uh, of paints for making 
paintings and not getting mud. And I think it's great for rain pours. I think those are the uh, the two best things about about these paints. And you know, having something that's good for a ring pour is always a great benefit. So there it is. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. If you found this useful, please like and share and subscribe. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined, my Amazon store where most of the products that I use can be found. But if you enter through that link, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. Also in the description box, you will find the links to my website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can find my art and music and the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards for sale. And last but not least, you will find the link to Go Make Some Art, our Facebook group. Join us there, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. All right, y'all, that is it for me for today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.